Hi everyone, this is Valerie from Carity Technology. Behind me is our 20-liter model supercritical carbon dioxide extraction system. Let me introduce to you one by one. From left to right, the first thing catches our eyes are the carbon dioxide cylinders. It provides constant CO2 supply for the system through these pipes. Next, the chiller. It turns the CO2 from gas to liquid. You can monitor the cooling effect by the high pressure gauge and the low pressure gauge. After that, the liquid CO2 is pumped into the system by this machine. We call it the main pump. Last but the most important part is the main operation machine. And up the stairs, we'll see two extractors. Each capacity is 10 liter. This is where we put the raw material. It can work together or individually. To improve the extractor performance, we also equipped with multiple seal rings and filter plates. Open this plate nearby, we can see the two separators. This is where we collect all the crude oil or paste we need. Now let's turn around and have a look at the back. We used the water heating method. It helps to maintain the target temperature for the extractor and separator. And the large tank beside is the CO2 storage tank for the system. In this video, we're going to extract chrysanthemum oil at 30 MPa, 80 Celsius degree. We need to prepare the raw material by mixing the chrysanthemum powder with 70% of ethanol and let it soak for about one hour. During this time, we can preheat the system to 80 Celsius degree just by clicking several buttons on the control panel. While the temperature is rising up, which we can track down in the database to see how long it takes, it updates every 5 minutes. We can make some preparations like cutting the filter paper as the shape of the sintering plate. When the fermentation is complete, we can start loading the material into the extractor. It can be opened from both ends. Brush it clean with no leftovers on the edge, then tighten it by the following steps. First, the filter paper with the gas. Next, the filter plate. Then, the sintering plate on top, covered with the seal ring. Last, screw the lid on, tighten it with our special handle. Now it's ready to lift into the extraction vessel. And there's more sealing steps awaiting us because the extraction is carried out under high pressure. We need to ensure the safety of the operation. Every step must be taken seriously. Now we can turn on the inlet valve of extraction 1 to let CO2 into the extractor. The pressure will slowly rise up. We can monitor the current parameters on the display. And when you notice the CO2 storage tank pressure is lower than 4.5 MPa and the pressure won't go up higher. That means there's a shortage of the CO2. We need to change a new bottle. Or we could heat up the CO2 bottles like this. It's a temporary one. It will be installed on the rack we provided before shipping. This tilted design can utilize gravity to maximize the use of CO2. When the pressure is close to our target 30 MPa, we can control the back pressure valve to keep it stable. After about 30 minutes, we can collect the chrysanthemum oil from the separator valve. The ethanol really helps the extraction. We can easily collect a whole bottle of oil in a very short time with a strong natural chrysanthemum smell. Thank you for your time watching here. If you want to see other material extraction, welcome to leave a comment below.